phases and how that affects the fishing so um, I'd, I'd just say two things real quick the only time I'm really looking at the moon phase hard would be during this during the spawning phase you know when those fish are are in that bedding phase when that water is in the high 50s to mid to high 60s I'm, I'm more focused on the moon phase than any other time of the year um, the only other thing that would, would, would be tidal water again too because you'll get higher or lower tides based on the moon phase, so I'll look at it a little bit too if I'm fishing a tidal tournament. Outside of that, I don't, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to the moon phase. I'm right opposite. I pay 100% attention to the moon at all times. Uh, being an advocate bow hunter and spending most of my life in a tree, I do understand that there's things in Mother Nature that if you can pick up on it will help guide you to the right place. Uh, I can tell you at what time of day deer move the best on a quarter moon, a new moon, a waning moon, a half moon, and fish is no different. If you watch on a new rising moon most of the time in the evening, the fish are always going to bite better. When I say a new moon, it's when the moon comes up 30, 40 minutes before it gets dark. You first start to see the phase of the moon. If you're fishing late in the summertime, that evening bite's awesome. You're fishing a late rising moon where the moon comes up at 3 in the morning and goes down after daylight. Next time you fish a tournament, you're going to the boat ramp and you take off and you see that the moon's up and it's an hour before daylight and it's right over you, I buy you dinner if I don't choke it the first hour of the tournament. Every time. When the moon's the highest and the lowest, it's the, strong, it's the strongest force on the earth and all the animals are usually most active. That, that's just redneck technology for me. I'm, I don't howl at the moon, but I sure do watch it. And full moon, my wife likes to dance a lot. <laughs> Just throw that in there. I don't get too bent out of shape. Uh, barometer pressure falling usually makes fish a little bit more lethargic. High pressure sometimes they seem, you know, they get a little crazy. I, I don't get too bent out of shape on it because I can't control it. And I learned early on if I got so focused on high pressure and low pressure, I stressed about it. You know, I, I figure I got to go fishing every day. And it's just one of those things, yeah, it has effect on it. You'll notice a lot of times when you're fishing, the pine straws float straight up in the water and every stick, the barometer's just falling real fast. A lot of times them fish are back up heavy to cover, but I don't get so strung out about it because it's just, my mind's so small, like it, it's like really overloaded, and I just kind of spin out. Sorry. Yeah, I take a vodka. No, I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Adrian's mom was asking me want something to drink. I throw something in there.